Our post-game conversation with Coach Rob Manchester. Coach, wow, what a ball game. I mean, first half, 10-7, you go into the locker room, down by three. You go into the locker room with two penalties, and you know you're going to come out and kick the football from the 10, and what do you do? You outscore them by a ton in the second half, win at 35-10. you got to be maybe not real happy the first 30 minutes, very happy the last 30. I mean, just get a win on the road against the high-quality opponent. Uh, you know, the Southwest uh, Junior College football teams are always really tough. You know, they put it on us last year, and uh, I guess we were able to return the favor. But it didn't look good in the first half. I mean, just I mean, I, just the guys just playing hard, but a couple late hits. Just got to be a little bit more composed. But uh, we weren't really, I don't think, clicking on all cylinders on offense. We were giving up some plays on defense. and But really, it only given up, you know, 10 points. So... Uh, we just went in. I mean, went into yelling and screaming. It's just we had to execute. We got to play harder, um, and that's what we did. I'm glad uh, we had a good, strong win because I knew we had to kick off from the, you know, the ten. So we still had a pretty good kick. But <laughs> now it's a, good, a lot of good things that our young men can learn from. Uh, you know, especially you know the one that got the 15 yarder and then kind of, you know, some other stuff. That's not who we are at GMC. We got to be, you know, composed and. Um, don't let things have a second, third order effect, like having to kick off from the 10. And thank goodness we went out and got punt three and out. And I don't know, and just we started playing. <laughs> I got to ask, because to me it was the turning point in the game. I know you were already up 21-10, but when McCray had that pick six, oh, yeah, that was kind of the, the nail on the coffin. I think so, too. I mean, there was still, I think that was in the fourth quarter, wasn't it? I mean, no, third quarter. Third quarter there was yep. still, still plenty of time. But, I mean, just any time you get a, a pick six or a, a fumble recovery for a touchdown, I mean, it's just – Makes your chances of winning going up a lot higher. That put us up by uh, what by eighteen. So um, didn't really change anything offensively or defensively. But um, I think that that helped us impose our will a little bit more. I think uh, I think the best compliment was, you know, their coach after the after the game said, "Hey, you know, you, you basically out physical us in the second half, and that's all due to our strength coach and the hard work our guys have been putting in, you know, in the weight room and stuff." So you know, it was a great second half. Uh, Traquan Jones came into the ball game with 66 yards. He had 66 on one play yes. today. Man, he had a heck of a game. I can't wait to watch the film because I didn't <laughs> see it. It's kind of, you know, the first game we were able to have iPads on the on the sideline. We were looking at some stuff, uh, and, I, and I just heard him yelling. I was like, what happened? You know, like, Traquan finally <laughs> broke one. And I don't think that's, you know, the, I don't know, if we go back and watch the film in the first half. Uh, they were doing a good job defensively, but our running backs, I don't know if they were necessarily not putting their foot in the ground and, and getting up the field, but um, they did that in the second half. And, uh, you know, man, it, it turned out to be good for us. A lot of penalties, both sides of the football. And really, to me, kind of an unusual ball game in that I would see the officials conferring with one another and no flag on the field. Yeah, I, I think it was, uh, you know, still a pretty clean game. Uh, just the thing that was frustrating, Coach Reddy, uh, offensive coordinator, and I talked to the the, yeah, the white hat. I mean, it. you know, we were beating them you know, on the line of scrimmage and they would fall down and we would just jump on them. They would call holding. And it was, you know, I'm sure there were some, uh, but I mean, boy, both sides, they were calling a lot of those, um, you know, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, I thought it was a pretty well officiating game. You know, it didn't, they didn't really get involved too much, but, um, uh, anyway, you know, it was, it was good and clean and, you know, played pretty well. Big win, especially on the road. Uh, now you get to go back to the friendly confines of, Davenport Field got Central Georgia Tech next week, um, and and that's part of that new kind yeah. of conference, if you will. It is. I mean, excited about playing them next week. Um, you know, just uh, we'll focus on that one when we get back to Millersville. But uh, you know, this one having to come on the road after just that heartbreaking loss last week. But I think the young men did a good job. But we didn't look back. Felt really good about where we were. Um, you know, after the game, just. You know, we let an opportunity get by us, um, you know, and that's that's credit to Iowa Western. But, um, you know, then having to come here and, and play a tough team in Tyler and, and just knowing what they did to us last year, they had a really good-looking team. Um, you know, it didn't look good early, but we were able to persevere and come away with a pretty big win. So, yeah, but Central Georgia Technical College, new team, their head coach is a GMC alum. Uh, I know they're going to be uh, fired up and ready, uh, but they got to come to us and um, – you know, we uh looking forward to them coming into our place. Well, uh, see you next week in Georgia. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.